I'm Sid, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'm going to show you how users can connect to an SSL TLS endpoint using the CA certificate bundle in Amazon Relational Database Service for Oracle Wallet. Let's get started. First, identify the certificates required for the SSL TLS endpoint. Open your preferred browser and browse to the URL SSL TLS endpoint of the web service that you want to access. For the purpose of this video, I'm using the URL status.awsamazon.com. Choose the padlock symbol in the address bar. Next, choose certificate. And then choose certification path to view the certificates required. You can also view the certificate details by running the following command on the command line of your local workstation. Download the required certificates in PEM format from the certificate provider. If the certificates aren't available in PEM, then you can run the following commands to convert them into PEM format. Next, create an Oracle wallet and include the certificates. Create an Oracle wallet using the Aura PKI utility. The Aura PKI utility is available when you install the appropriate Oracle client software. For the purpose of our video, we are creating an auto login wallet that does not need a password to open. Add the previously downloaded certificates to the wallet by running the following commands. List the contents of the wallet by running the following command. Now, connect to the RDS DB instance using SQL Plus as the master user. Grant the necessary permissions to the database user who will use the UTL underscore HTTP package by running the following commands. In the same SQL Plus session, run the following to create a directory for storing the Oracle wallet. Note that it's a best practice to store each wallet in its own directory. Upload the wallet to an Amazon simple storage service bucket. You can create a new or use an existing bucket. Here, I'm using an existing bucket. Download the wallet from the S3 bucket onto the RDSDB instance using one of two ways, that is, with and without S3 integration. To download the wallet using S3 integration, first, set up the RDSDB instance to use S3 integration. For instructions on how to do this, refer to the Amazon S3 integration documentation linked in the Associated Knowledge Center article. Run this RDS procedure to download the wallet file from the S3 bucket onto the RDS DB instance. Confirm the wallet downloaded successfully by running the following commands. In the SQL Plus session, run the following command to set the wallet path for UTL underscore HTTP transactions. Test the name resolution and browse the URL successfully using the Oracle wallet by running the following commands. To download the wallet without using S3 integration, in the SQL Plus session connected to the RDS DB instance, allow the outbound traffic on Oracle's ACL by running the following commands. For the purpose of our video, I am using the master user. In the same SQL Plus session, create the procedure S3 underscore download underscore pre-signed underscore URL by running the following. Generate an S3 pre-signed URL by running the following AWS command line interface command. Run the S3 underscore download underscore pre-signed underscore URL and edit the input parameters appropriately. Be sure to replace the HTTPS with HTTP in the S3 pre-signed URL. You can also download the wallet using HTTPS. However, 
you must store the S3 web service wallet in the RDS DB instance directory S3 underscore SSL underscore wallet. Confirm that the wallet downloaded to the RDS DB instance by running the following command. In the SQL plus session, run the following command to set the wallet path for UTL underscore HTTP transactions. Test name resolution and browse the URL successfully using the Oracle wallet by running the following commands. You might see some errors while setting this up. See the associated Knowledge Center article for the list of common errors and their resolutions. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>